Are you hoping that dosage calculations can just be avoided until graduation and then kind of just use a calculator or rely on computers once you're a nurse? I've got some news for you and a story to tell you about why you might want to be rethinking that. My name is Nicole Whitworth, and I'm the founder of YourNursingTutor.com, and I help nursing students get through nursing school confidently and calmly so that you can learn how to think like a nurse with proven advice, and proven techniques and methods that will get you doing better in your classes, studying more efficiently and effectively so that you can reach your dream of becoming a nurse. Today, let's talk a little bit about dosage calculations, namely, um, why you avoid them and what this can do to you. So I wanna tell you a story about a student I worked with um, when I was still in nursing school. So I was a tutor, I was hired by my school to be a peer tutor when I was in my first semester. And I worked as a peer tutor all through my accelerated nursing program. Now, my program had an exit exam. We use the HESI if you're familiar with that. And some of my classmates were having trouble passing it. One classmate in particular asked me for help and I reviewed her HESI score report with her. And I was shocked to find out that on this particular HESI, there were three dosage calculations questions and she had gotten all three of them wrong. Now, the worst part of the story is that as I was looking at her score report, I estimated that if she would have gotten all three of them right, she definitely would have passed. But it's possible if she would have just gotten one single dosage calculation correct, that she would have passed her HESI exit exam. I asked her what happened, <laughs> and I was even more horrified to find out that she didn't even try to answer those dosage calculations because her math anxiety around dosage calculations was so huge that she saw them, she froze. And she was so afraid that she would spend too much time trying to solve the dosage calculation, get it wrong anyway, and then she would run out of time to answer the rest of the questions on the exam. But what happened is because of her math anxiety, she ended up failing her exit exam, which is what she was trying to avoid by skipping the dosage calculations in the first place. So math anxiety causes you to avoid uh, doing math, <laughs> but then it creates a self-fulfilling prophecy. So you avoid it because you think you're going to do bad at it. But then because you avoid it, you do bad at it. Okay. Spoiler alert. So what can you do? You need a step-by-step -step process that takes the emotion out of dosage calculations and just gives you some rules and guidelines that you can follow that can be used for any situation so you don't have to mess around with formulas and what formula did I use here how do I convert things multiple steps you can just follow these rules and you will get the dosage calculation correct that's how I teach nursing students to solve dosage calculations I don't mess around <laughs> okay now um what and then once you do that you need a proven practice plan possibly with accountability, to make sure that you are doing these questions yourself and you're practicing them. Because it's not enough to just watch somebody do a dosage calculation. You have to wrestle with it yourself so that you're internalizing the steps so that when you get on an exam, that math anxiety doesn't kick in. Although I also teach students how to deal with test anxiety in my VIP tutoring membership. I have an easy strategy for that too. And you can do it. It just becomes like muscle memory. Dosage calculations is a skill, just like learning to think like a nurse, just like driving a car, riding a bike, or swimming. You start out bad at it. You practice using a proven method, and then you improve, and it gets easier. And I promise that nursing school can get easier for you, too, if you follow these proven steps. If you want to find out more about them, you can get information about my VIP tutoring membership where I include all of this stuff, how to do dosage calculations, how to handle test anxiety, time management, even if you have to work and you have a family and you're not fresh out of high school, and the silver bullet study system, which is an 
easy four-step method that you can follow for everything you study in nursing school so you can stop relying on professors, stop relying on uh, random YouTube videos, even stop relying on me as a tutor in order to teach yourself the most important information so that you can learn to think like a nurse. If you'd like to get some more information because you'd like to be a part of this community, you can find it at yournursingtutor.com forward slash VIP.